Hey guys and welcome to my review of Earth Defense Force 5. It's a third person shooter action game and is developed by Sandbox. My first experience of playing Earth Defense Force was on the Xbox 360. It was Earth Defense Force 2017. One of the best games I ever played. It was just fun and over the top. It reminded me of Starship Troopers or uh, Independence Day. Then I played the other games and it just felt the same and wasn't much improvement. One of five takes place in year 2022. It doesn't follow 2017 nor 2025. So in this game you're a civilian visiting the EDF base, then it gets suddenly attacked and you get drafted in to stop the alien invasion and save the Earth. So for this review I'm going to be talking about the gameplay, graphics, sound and then my conclusion. So you get four slots to save data. There's a two player split screen mode, online and offline modes. So in this section we go offline. Usually when I play this game I usually play online mode with my mates. We got up to 25 missions. You can start the mission right away or customize stuff like colour of the uniform or just in the armour settings as well. Within the equipment section, currently I'm a ranger. I can only equip ranger stuff. So we've got a selection of assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, rocket launcher, missile launchers, grenades and specials. Select the mission, it will give you some difficulty levels. High difficulty levels will be unlocked after completing the game. The gameplay is pretty simple, kill all aliens and don't fail the mission. After completing the mission, you get a mission clear message with this nice little tune. Collect weapons and armour, as this will help you increase weapons levels and increase protection. So after completing the mission, you sometimes gain weapons or level up existing weapons. Then you back to the mission selection screen and onto the next mission. Completing the mission will give you a star, it will display the class used and the difficulty it was played in. If you're playing co-op, you can revive and be revived. If you both die, you will fail the mission. You can replay missions to collect armour and weapons. Failing the mission results in weapon and armour reduction. So try not to die. What aliens are going to be fighting against in this game? Here are a few examples and there's others I don't want to spoil. There's these giant red ants which can munch on you. You have these pylons dropping in from the sky which spawns giant grey ants. I think a new thing in the fire. Then you, you get, again, giant spiders which fires webs at you, uh, which slow you down. You got UFOs that fire laser beams, hopefully you equip the right weapons when facing them, they're a bit of a pain. Also new is the giant frogs which the team thinks they look like humans, I mean really now. There's a lot of things happening on the screen at once on the battlefield. You've got civilians running in front of you, you're getting flipped around, also you can see the classes helping you. Never expected you could make it this far. To help you out there's a handy radar on the top right of the screen. I just concentrate on the red and green and don't concentrate on anything else. Uh, in co-op I use the check the meters. So there's four classes of soldiers to choose from to battle the alien skull. First is the range class which is what the game recommends you to go. Uh, to be honest I love playing that class. It has two weapon slots, varied weapons and it's easy to play with and you can roll as well. The sprint which you can do in the previous game, the angle is a bit not perfect like and you can summon the vehicles which is kind of cool. The second class is the wing diver, an air class. It uses energy weapons and has a booster to fly around. Here's me trying to land on it which I think I can do in the older game. Also note, this class has the lowest armor. Third class is an air raider, a support class so better suited to co-op play. You have three weapon slots, you can deploy health shields with weapons on the ground. Call in the air raids, which I'm doing right now. I don't really play with this class until I probably get like better weapons later on. Lastly, the fourth class, defensive, heavy class. You have four weapon slots, you use heavy weapons, can equip a shield and has a jet booster, has the highest armor. Like the older EDF games, some of the vehicles can be hard to control. Also, some of the missions contain pre placed vehicles that you can drive or ride in. So, the graphics are nice and simple and very colorful, and not too realistic. A bit anime like, but it does the job. The textures can be a bit bland and shiny in places. I've noticed there's more particles than the previous games. Uh, when you're shooting the enemies after the dead, you can shoot them around, which I like, and they don't instantly disappear. In certain environments, you can destroy certain objects. They can be taken down with one or two shots or several. You can take down buildings and you can take down the big alien spaceships in the sky with a decent huge explosion that I like seeing. Cameras sometimes go weird when there's an event happening. It's a bit jarring for a few seconds, but you'll be okay afterwards. 
Every now and again you hear a new support given the player updates on what's happening with the invasion. I find this these sometimes funny and entertaining. So I'm going to quickly mention about the weapon sound. They all sound really good and yeah, sound BT when you fire them. When you have a mission with a team or encounter troops on the battlefield, you hear the soldiers talking. They'll sometimes talk about random stuff and can be funny, but it also makes you feel like you're really involved and part of the team. Also, when you're fighting within the cities, you encounter the civilians screaming and running towards you. I really like the voiceovers. The voice acting can be over the top sometimes, but very entertaining to listen to. expect anyone to rescue us. Listen, everyone. I saw their faces. So in the chat section, you can activate the EDF soldiers to shout stuff. So I usually do this to put myself up and in court to kind of fun and annoying at the same time. The music is mainly consistent. Sometimes it's heart pumping, sometimes it's pretty epic. The civilians are in greater danger than we are. Which gets you in the mood to fight the enemy threat. I would say they've been pretty good so far. So what's my conclusion on this game? Well, it's definitely better than the previous game, and it's just a lot of fun. It's just, it's just brilliant. So I would highly recommend this game if you like shooting hordes of bugs and aliens and UFOs. It's frantic, relentless, and it's kind of just like a survival game when you set the pretty high. For me, part of the fun comes from using weapons, causing explosions and destruction. I do like sci-fi films and alien invasion. So yeah, I can live naturally like in this game. Like the over the top voices and the pumping music. For replayability, there's a good amount of missions with higher difficulties to play with. I recommend playing this game in co-op. You have a laugh and a blast for time. There's some DLC weapons, vehicles, decoy packs, and two mission packs with uh, each containing 10 levels and over 30 new weapons. So go check it out and fight against these aliens to protect our lovely Earth. More flying saucers than expected. Do not fear. Strike back. A top top game. If you like the review, please hit the like button. Also, please share and subscribe. So it's been a while since I posted the review. Uh, hopefully, it'll be soon the next time. Anyway, take care, peeps, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.